Well, it features a variety of food and music, as well as children's entertainment, movie screenings, storytelling and bike tours. That's the Makelwani Festival, which is presented by the creators at Locrate Market. The festival kicked off yesterday with business talks uh, at the Thesis Lifestyle and will be followed by live performances and a number of local DJs that's happening uh, today and tomorrow. Now to tell us more, we're joined in studio by Locrate Co. Owner Sviso Langamandla. Good morning, welcome to Winning Live. Morning, morning, thanks. I mean, for somebody who may not know, tell us a little bit about Makelwane Festival. Where did it all start? Okay, so Makelwane Festival is a community festival that we started in 2014. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to do something different in December. So our thinking is that um, during the December um, season, uh, uh, period, people tend to go back home, mm -hmm. you know, which is Soweto or wherever where they call it home. So uh, we wanted to ensure that we create an environment where people could go home mm -hmm. and create that old spirit of sharing, of Ubuntu, uh, you know, uh, in the past we used to share khemere if your neighbor made yeah. khemere and you'd get cookies from yeah. your from your neighbor. So um, we want to ensure that people can get to experience that uh, festive uh, spirit. Mm -hmm. How's it grown though over the years? Look, um, it's grown, you know, um, and thank you to our partners. Um, it's grown a lot. Um, we've got new sponsors, um, we've got new traders, and it's also opened new avenues for, for, for what we do. You know, you, we get to operate out of Soweto in, in other spaces like Constitution Hill. Yeah. So it's created um, new avenues for, for, for us. And talk to us about that space that you host uh, the festival. I mean, I think out of the couple of years that I went to one, it was still around Go Orlando there. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that space that you occupy for the festival. So um, we are fortunate that uh, we were born in Orlando. Mm -hmm. So we chose that street on the basis of it's not the same. You know, uh, normally you find pavements in Soweto very tiny. Yeah. So. Um, that street has like a very wide pavement and the people have taken good care of their lawns so it allows us to be able to create a space where people can chill on the on the grass and the neighbors have opened up their houses you can utilize their bathrooms you can uh, spend time with the grannies you can spend time with the uh, local people with uh, with the community mm -hmm. hence the the the, the theme um, looking at so through the eyes of the locals yeah yeah so that's 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 what we're trying to do so you had a business talks yesterday tell us a little bit about yeah, that so we had business talks at uh, thesis lifestyle mm -hmm. so that was also an initiative where we wanted to collaborate mm -hmm. with other people who are doing great things. So we collaborated with Thesis, uh, which is one of the oldest brands uh, in Soweto. So we got people that really started side hustles. So if you start a business like Lompo, who's a uh, Wing Republic, used to work for Metro FM, but decided to start a side hustle at Low Crate and sell wings. And then the side hustle became the main thing you know uh, and he's got three shops now so we wanted to share those stories so that we could inspire other young people to be able to know that you don't have to resign from work and uh, sometimes you don't have to struggle you know mm. so uh, resigning from work and starting from scratch is probably not the easiest thing to do but you could start something small as a side hustle and uh, as it goes then you could um, jump and make it your main mm -hmm. Brands like both thesis, for instance. Yes, yeah. yes. Brands like this is. Um, we had a lady there. She's a doctor by profession, but she does face beats. You know, so on the side, it's a side hustle. So you get to augment your income over and above what you get paid. You know, times are very tough. So uh, I think people need to look at other things that they can do to ensure that they've got extra money mm -hmm. over uh, up, over and above what they make on a on a monthly yeah let's talk about today and tomorrow what's on the cards so today we kick starting the festival um i can feel it in my skin yeah. you know like uh, <laughs> there's a lot of excitement around the festival mm. so today we've got a very exciting dj lineup mm -hmm. which is we've got christos we've got jaws so 
pretty much today we're going the house route. Right. Yeah, so we want uh, uh, the house heads to come out. Um, and we want, and you know, the, the house heads are from everywhere. Yeah. So we want people to travel from Pretoria, Ekuruleni, and everywhere, to, and, and spend time in Soweto. So the lineup is, is, is pretty much in yeah. interesting. And then tomorrow? So tomorrow we've got uh, KO, mm -hmm. and we've got uh, Langama Voso. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not really about the music only, you know. Um, we want people to come feel so to and enjoy the food and come support the small businesses, you know. So um, it's one of the reasons why we started the brand to ensure that we create an environment for young people mm -hmm. and people who want to start their own uh, businesses or crafts. So um, it's a great platform for people that want to sell their own original things and also to connect with other like-minded people. Yeah, and the children's aspect of it? There's a children, um, There's a, so one of the houses will be, will be converted into a kiddies area. Mm -hmm. So it will be jumping castles, face painting and uh, storytelling. Mm -hmm. So we're using a local lady to read books and tell stories to the kids. Yeah, I see there's also movie screenings as well. So we will do movie screening is one of the houses at the back where we'll set up like a screen and people can watch local movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Movie and um, sorry, movie tickets, uh, festival tickets. Yeah, tell us more about those. So, festival tickets are available on our website, uh, makelwanifestival.co.za, uh, but they'll also be available at the at the gate. Yeah. So, if you buy them online, it's 150, but if you buy them at the gate, it's 200 rand. Yeah. And how are the the response? What is the response to ticket sales at the moment? It's it's looking it's good. Yeah. You know, um, yesterday we we were having a conversation with the MEC. It shows that even though it's Jan, how think people party? You mm -hmm. know, how think people are, are in for a good time? Yeah. So uh, the ticket sales are looking good. Leva twenty twenty five. Ah no, no, Emily. Spiso, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good luck. Do you guys still do low crate, by the way? We do, we yeah. do. Uh, it's every first Sunday of the month. Mm -hmm. So we'll kickstart it uh, first week of February, mm -hmm. and then, uh, which is next week. Where? After, it's still at Orlando West. All right. Just cool. in the precinct area. All right. Spiso, good to see you. Thank you so much um, thank for you. talking to us. Low crate uh, co owner Spiso uh, Langamanda speaking to us about this year's Makelwani Festival, which is once again presented by the uh, creatives at Low Crate market the festival features a variety of food music children's entertainment and movie screening so it's happening today and tomorrow